get. All right. Good job. All right, guys. First signal of any consequence today, 1898. Indian. Only about two inches down in the yard. First time we hit here, first spot two we hit, we didn't do any good, and this is the first point of the day it's any consequence, so hopefully there's some more. We will find out. Hey Stay guys, tuned. and gals, down about four inches there on a 12-11 signal. V-nickel. I scratched a little bit on the back, but I'll be happy to have that. That's my second good find here at this spot. Hope you can get a good shot of that. 1901V. Turn it right side here. Anyway, 1901 V nickel. Good find. All right. Let's see here. There we go. Got her upside down. There you go. 1901 V. All right. Let's go on to the next one. Second hey, good find here. Old buddy Jeff got him a Indian. That's their second. Oh, my shot, didn't it? Yeah, you did. Second Indian of the encounter here, and that's a nice one. Yeah. 1903. Good job, buddy. Thank you, sir. He's up here where the ground is. Not That's been, my most common year to find. Not been disturbed, so we got a nickel, two Indians so far. We haven't been here that long, so this is our turning out to be pretty good. No clad to speak of. On to the next one. Good job, buddy. Thank you. All right. Good deal. All right, guys. Had a uh, 36, 1136 signal. Got just popped it out. Probably three and a half, four inches, and I called my shot. I told Mike ahead of time off the signal that it was an Indian, and sure enough, 1903. That's the most common Indian that I find. So if you find an Indian, there's a pretty good bet it's going to be a 1903. So mm. Anyway, tickled with that, and uh, see if we can't pilfer some more out of here. That's a good deal. Good job, yeah, buddy. got a 1980 nickel here. Well, that's not old, but the thing is, I'm in the front yard now. Look how deep that thing was. Realistically, is that deep? That's a good eight inches. So that's not good. The ground in the front yard's been moved. That's not good. All right, hey gang, down that. there about. Oh, I'd say this one's about this deep here, roughly. I don't know. With my digging tool, it's calling it probably six, seven inches anyway. Let's see, that's nine to there. Yeah, so I would call it right at eight and a half inches or so, right at the very bottom. I popped this dude out. So it was pretty cool. It's a 1917 wheat penny. Look how green that thing is, though. It's awesome, isn't it? I love that green tone on them wheats. And Indians, too, but anytime they turn turquoise green, those are awesome looking coins. Look at that. Well, that's as green as they get now. That's a good find. That shade's kind of messing with me here. But anyway, you see what I'm saying? This great green coin. Okay, gang. That's my first weedy of the day. So, so far, not a lot of coins. But what's been good has been old. I guess that's good. So, it's a 1917, I do believe. On to the next one. Hey gang, I want to show you a picture of this old creepy house. Wow, spooky. Okay, see if we can get something All right, back gang, We're at a farmhouse now. Board's there. And I just got me a weedy head, 1957. I think. Anyway, it's a weedy head. I see the weedy head on it. Not sure of the date, but it's a good find, and we'll keep going. See if we can get something else here. Stay tuned. This kind of looks like the cap off something. I'm not sure what it is, but all right, let's go on to the next one. It's, so far, I've been pretty not very good here. We'll see if we can get something. Got me another weedy, number two for this site. Don't think it's real old, but I'll take it. Let's see it there. Didn't clean up real well, but it is definitely a weedy. Got some green gilt to it. Got okay, my third weedy back. here. And it rang up 940 on the E track. This one did. The other's been ringing up 1245, but I've been digging them. Can't see the date on it. I don't know if you can or not, but I'll clean it up later. Again, got three. Nice harmonica read. This is 
in really good shape. Really nice one. Not chewed up or nothing. That's cool. All right, let's see if we can get something else. It's three weeks now and harmonica read here. Hey gang, here's what's left of my cap gun. She come out in pieces. I got all the pieces there. I just gotta put them together. Humpty Dumpty stood on a wall. Humpty Dumpty had a great fall. Okay, Let's see if I can fix this up. Gang, Later. Is Mike back again. Doing a little exciting hunting wrap up here in the middle of the summer. Jeff and I went out, did a little road tripping. I got a cap gun and a half, don't I? I think there's about two there that all big up, tore up. Got an old copper fitting there, it's cool. <laughs> 1965, good year. Yep. Got a couple clads. Not too many zincs today, only about six. I'm trying not to dig those as much, but I'm still digging some. Got a nice harmonica read though. I mean, that thing's in good shape. Not beat up or bent up or nothing. It's a really nice one. That's sweet. Okay, on, let's see what we got here. Got a V nickel this trip, 1901. Yeah, happy to have that. Cool find it, down about five inches, four inches or so. 1912, 1957. 44, 41, and an 1898 Indian. I love the Indians. So, that was a good hunt. Good hunt. Had a good time. I'd like to have found more coin, but did good. What I did find was pretty good old quality. Decent anyway. So, anyway, you guys know what I'm going to say. On to the next one. This is Mike. And I'm out.